Have you ever wondered about the biggest regrets and invaluable advice from some of the wisest people in the world? Or what life lessons they would share with someone your age? In today's video, we will explore the insights and reflections from retirees in their 80s. They have lived through decades of change and have gathered a wealth of knowledge. Tune in to hear their heartfelt advice and avoid these common mistakes before it's too late. Let their experiences guide you to a more fulfilling and regret-free retirement. I asked them a question, have you made any major mistakes in your life or had any regrets that shaped who you are or helped you learn a valuable lesson? It's clear that everyone has their own regrets. One common regret among them was getting married too young, specifically at 18 years old. Many of them now have grandchildren over 30, and they think they might have lived a bit more before getting married. How about you? At what age did you get married? Do you have any regrets? If so, at what age would you choose to get married if you had a do-over today? As a man, aging can sometimes make you feel a bit invisible. When you were young, you attracted a lot of attention and had many people looking at you and talking to you. Unfortunately, our society doesn't always value older people, often seeing them as outdated. Oh, and the passage of time. It's like gravity has been holding us down for so long. Suddenly you look up and say, what? 73 years old? When did that happen? Many aren't ready for Medicare, but they'll take it when the time comes. When we look at people in their 20s today, there's one thing that stands out the obsession with social media. The selfies and the constant self-promotion make it hard to have a simple conversation at an airport or a park. Everyone is glued to their screens. It feels like there's a whole visual language out there that we older folks aren't trained to understand which can leave us feeling a bit left out. Now, what does it feel like to be 75? It feels fantastic. One retiree shared that they just signed a seven-year work contract. And at 69? It's like you've just learned enough to really start living. Sure, there might be a bit of trouble walking and the mind may not always be in sync with the body, but it's all part of the journey. For instance, one retiree mentioned being 59 and looking forward to turning 60 next year. And that's something to celebrate. One major regret shared by many retirees is not traveling more. Our guest reflects, I've traveled a lot, and I really enjoy it. However, I regret not taking more opportunities to explore the world when I was younger. Another poignant regret is losing touch with a language they once knew in their youth. I used to be fluent in another language, but over the years, I've lost it, they admit. This serves as a reminder to cherish and practice the skills we acquire throughout life. A significant regret for many is not learning to play a musical instrument. For some reason, I never learned to play an instrument. Perhaps it was because my parents couldn't afford to buy one. Now, I deeply regret it because music feels like it's inside me, but I don't know how to express it. Our guest shares. Aging, as our guest says, isn't for the faint of heart they feel fortunate to have good health, saying thank God my health is still okay. I could have a long medical history, but I am a swimmer. I can swim 1,000 yards. Can you swim 1,000 yards? It's a testament to the importance of staying active. The moment they felt old was when their son suggested selling the house and moving to a nursing home. How do you feel about the things that make you feel old? What can I do? I'm straightforward. That's good. I wouldn't want to live my life over again, but we look at all the young people and we're envious because you have so many choices they reflect. One of the most concerning aspects of aging is memory loss. We are gradually losing our memory, and it worries me. Physically, I feel younger, but mentally, I feel older, they admit. This highlights the emotional and psychological challenges of aging. Lastly, our guest emphasizes the importance of time. When we were young, we tended to prioritize things that, as we get older, we realize don't matter. Young people are always in such a hurry, always rushing. The world out there is to be conquered but I think we need to just calm down and proceed reasonably, they advise. Thank you for joining us in this reflective journey. Remember to take these insights to heart and make the most of your time. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share your thoughts in the comments below. Until next time.
But here's the perspective from someone with over four decades of life experience. There is truly nothing to regret. Every experience, whether good or bad, is a lesson learned. Regret only leads to bitterness in your heart. To escape that bitterness, it's important to accept everything you've done. Embrace the good and the bad and learn from it. Move forward knowing that everything that happened was meant to be. There's no reason to dwell on regrets instead. Focus on the lessons you've learned. What have you learned the most about regret or mistakes? Comment below and let's chat. Many of our seniors expressed deep regret over missed investment opportunities. Imagine being told to buy gold in the 1970s when it was just $35 an ounce. Many shrugged off the advice, not realizing that gold would skyrocket to over $1,800 per ounce decades later. The same goes for stocks in pioneering companies like Apple or Amazon. The fear of losing money kept them from taking the plunge. Their advice? Start investing early and diversify your portfolio. Don't let fear paralyze you. Educate yourself on the basics of investing and seek professional advice if needed. Another common regret was not continuing education. Many of our interviewees stopped learning after formal schooling, believing their education ended with their diploma. But as the world changed, they found themselves lagging behind in skills and knowledge. Whether it's taking courses, learning new technologies, or even picking up a hobby, continuous learning keeps the mind sharp and adaptable. Don't let the learning stop. Education is a lifelong journey. In today's fast-paced world, staying current is more critical than ever. Invest in yourself by continually upgrading your skills and knowledge. A prevalent theme was the regret of not taking more risks. Many admitted they played it too safe, opting for stability over potential growth. They stayed in jobs they didn't love or avoided pursuing their passions because it seemed too risky. Their message to younger generations is clear take risks, especially when you're young. Step out of your comfort zone. Whether it's starting a business, traveling the world, or moving to a new city, these experiences enrich your life and can lead to unexpected opportunities. The comfort zone might feel safe, but it's where dreams often go to die. So, what are their perspectives on what really matters? Before we continue, I have a special 10-second request for all of you listening. If you can help me out in any way, just hit that subscribe button. It means the world to us and supports this channel tremendously. And if you do that for me, I promise that my team and I will do everything we can to make this show even better for you. Do we have a deal? When we're younger, we often put a lot of emphasis on keeping up appearances. But as we get older, we realize that it really doesn't matter. What truly counts is who we are on the inside, not how we look to others. Remember, authenticity always outshines superficiality. In our younger years, many of us are fixated on making money and climbing the career ladder. While it's important to ensure you earn enough to live comfortably and enjoy experiences like vacations, it shouldn't be your sole focus. As we age, we find that experiences and relationships bring more joy and fulfillment than material wealth. It's easy to fall into the trap of comparing ourselves to others, but this can lead to unnecessary stress and dissatisfaction. Instead, rate yourself based on your own standards and values. Be true to yourself and focus on your own journey. The first half of our lives is often spent accumulating things, only to find that in the second half, we can't even give them away. This realization highlights the futility of materialism. Focus on what truly matters experiences, relationships, and personal growth. With all the distractions in the world, it's crucial to have a clear plan and objective in life. Knowing what you want to achieve and setting goals can help you stay focused and fulfilled. The earlier you figure this out, the happier you'll be. Do you ever feel like we spend too much time working when we're younger? As the saying goes, when you're on your deathbed, nobody says, I wish I'd spent more time at the office. So, what advice would our seasoned retirees give to the younger generation? Stop trying to be all things to all people. Be true to yourself. Stay in school and focus on two important things in life. Increase your awareness and your ability to learn. With these, you can handle any challenge that comes your way. Don't spend your entire life obsessing about the future. 
Yes, plan for it, but live fully in the present. The wealth you accumulate isn't what you'll be remembered for, it's the people in your life. Be patient, kind, and honest, and work diligently towards your goals. If you have a dream, like owning a special car, work for it and enjoy the journey. But don't rush. Find happiness in every moment, even the tough ones. Don't just assume your beliefs are the only right ones and dismiss others as crazy or wrong. Use your mind to judge what you think is right. Remember, each day is a gift and a miracle. Enjoy what you have instead of dwelling on the past or worrying too much about the future. A long-term relationship with a partner is incredibly important. Invest a lot of care, patience, and tolerance in your relationship. If that works out well, everything else tends to fall into place. If you could give one piece of advice to someone younger than you, what would you say? Many retirees admit they spent too much time worrying about things that never actually happened. Imagine all the energy you could save by focusing on what you can control. A lot of us hesitate because of fear or doubt. One retiree said, When I was young, after a while I just thought, what's the point of worrying? Just do it this mindset can lead to more fulfilling experiences and fewer regrets. Our interviewees, many of whom were mental health professionals, shared an important insight not being happy all the time doesn't mean something is wrong with you. It's a part of normal life. You will have ups and downs, and that's okay. Don't let the emphasis on constant happiness make you think otherwise. A common piece of advice you hear on the internet is simply to be happy but how do you actually accomplish that? Firstly, one major factor contributing to unhappiness is too much communication. We're constantly bombarded with information, and there's often no time to check the facts. Sometimes it's best not to know all the negative news out there. The relentless stream of social media can make us feel disconnected from each other. Remember, there's no real substitute for face-to-face -face interaction. Without the facial cues, intonations, and all the nuances of in-person conversation, a lot of life's quality is lost. So how can you find happiness? Focus on contentment and satisfaction with what you already have. It's essential to stop comparing yourself to others and wondering about their possessions or achievements. Be grateful for what you have and understand that everything in life is temporary. Ultimately, the only guarantee we have in life is that we will pass away. Knowing this, it's crucial to appreciate the present moment and make the most of the time we have. Embrace the joy in your current circumstances and cherish the relationships and experiences that bring you happiness. If I could give one piece of advice to someone younger, I'd say keep active. Don't smoke, don't drink excessively, and have fun. Enjoy yourself. Be an independent mind. Have your own judgment about things. Don't be a follower otherwise. You're going to become a robot. When we were young, we used to write beautiful letters with the right words and style. Nowadays, communication feels like a monstrosity. Relax and show the same respect to everyone. Don't look at the critics because they'll throw you off your game. Stay true to your vision. If you think of something honestly, go for it. You could be gone tomorrow, even at your age. I'm serious. Ignore the media hype. Have you ever wondered what people think of you and how that changes over time? As we get older, many of us stop caring about others' opinions as much. When I was younger, I wanted to fit in. There were cool people, popular people, and nerdy people like me. But now I realize there's no real hierarchy. What truly matters at the end of the day is community. It's about connecting with people and doing something meaningful. It doesn't always have to be something that changes the world. Sometimes it's just about being productive and finding joy in what you do. As we age, we often start questioning why we have so much stuff. The desire to accumulate things fades, and we begin to value experiences and relationships more. Competitiveness loses its grip, and we realize we don't need to beat everyone at all costs. Instead, we need to focus on being true to ourselves. First up, we often prioritize things in our youth that seem important but lose their significance as we age. One major regret is worrying too much about what others think. A retired chemist shared, 
When I was younger I spent a lot of time and energy worrying about my appearance and what people thought of me. Looking back it was a waste of time and money. Especially for women, there's this pressure to invest in cosmetics and beauty treatments. But it's all unnecessary. Another profound regret is not being kind or generous enough. Many retirees admit they got too caught up in their own feelings and rigid expectations. One retiree mentioned, I regret not being kinder and more generous. I often let hurt feelings dictate my actions instead of just letting things go and trusting that everything would work out. Workplace regrets are common too. Being overly competitive at work is a mistake many recognize in hindsight. I was too competitive and didn't treat some colleagues nicely. It came at the expense of friendships and my own comfort, said one retiree. They now understand the importance of treating others kindly and building positive relationships. Education is another area where retirees see room for improvement. One retiree shared, I graduated college and got a master's degree, but I wish I had studied harder and gone to a four-year university instead of a two-year college. It would have set me up better in the long run. These insights remind us to prioritize what truly matters and to make decisions with long-term implications in mind. Whether it's being kinder, traveling more, or focusing on meaningful relationships, these retirees' reflections offer valuable lessons for all of us. So let's take their advice to heart and strive for a life with fewer regrets. Thanks for tuning in, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content like this. If there's something you're passionate about, go for it. You've worked hard all your life, so now is the time to do what you truly love. Imagine waking up and saying, I can't believe I'm getting paid to do this. That's the dream, right? Challenge yourself every day. Even if you think you've reached your limits, push a little further and see the world through others' eyes. It's our duty to ensure everyone has the same opportunities we had. Remember, growth and learning don't stop just because you're retired. Get out of bed, stay active, and keep your mind sharp. You don't know everything, and that's okay. Embrace continuous learning and never think you've got it all figured out. Learn something new every day. Also, be mindful not to take out more than you put in. Focus on being the best version of yourself. When you love and understand yourself, you can give more to others. Avoid actions that could lead to regret because remorse is something you can't undo. If someone is negative towards you, don't let it get to you. Don't worry about what others think. Accept feedback as it helps you improve but don't let it hold you back. Just do something interesting and fulfilling. Lastly, don't procrastinate. If something can be done today, do it. Be a good person, and things will fall into place. So drop the excuses and start living your best retired life today. If you found today's video interesting, don't hesitate to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Your support is very important to us. Be sure to check out the next video appearing on your screen. You're sure to love the content we bring. Please leave a comment about which country you'd like us to explore next. Thank you for watching and see you in the latest video. Thanks for being with us on this great journey. Leave your thoughts in the comments and like to help us. Remember to subscribe for more. See you soon.